Melissa Berg here. I'm breaking my little internet silence because I just want to talk about how amazing sketchbook, Autodesk sketchbook for iPad really is. And the iPad, the iPad Pro to be exact. And this is actually a refurbished one, probably generation two, I think. I haven't looked it up, so I don't remember. But this is a painting I'm doing. As you can see, I had music going. I have my brightness all the way up because I have a lot of outdoor light shining in here, so I just need to see it better. Um, I have photos open for my references. As you can see, I'm working on some fan art for my YouTube channel. Um, maybe you can recognize these. I'm not going to say who they are just yet. Um, let me turn off my reference. Oops. And I am also recording my painting process. Now, Sketchbook does a really nice job of this. Um, you don't see your palettes and your toolbars and things like that. It only shows you your painting that you're working on but it does let you zoom in. It is showing you the zoomed in aspects and you zooming out and moving the canvas around, which is really nice. I like that better than the Procreate one because sometimes you can't see the small details that you're working on and it speeds it up a little bit too fast. So the quality too was a little bit down the last time I tried it. Uh, sketchbook though, it's at full quality. I can do 1080. Um, HD and um, let me just show you I'm zoomed in like crazy here I used pencil to start and then colored it and it was actually pencil in sketchbook not real pencil um, you see a little bit of lag when I'm moving my canvas around but that's because I have over about 22 or 23 layers right now in this, which is a lot, probably the most I've ever had. Now I will merge them all when I'm done, but I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, what I was just doing was normally you do this first, but I had some flats, I made a, a selection. And one thing that I do kind of wish, uh, when you do make a selection, it's not super tight. So sometimes you'll get like, a little bit of overlap or some of the or underlap where you'll see some of the um, you can see a little bit here um, I'm using a, a paintbrush because I was doing a test of this but um, I want to erase some of that right in there and now it's recording every single thing I'm doing even all my mistakes and there we go it's recording every little tiny, and it's it's responsive as if I'm on paper or pen here. Um, there's a little bit of touch-ups I wanna do. Let me zoom out. Now, if I come from traditional paint, as you can see, and I'm also in my 40s, and I was told I never really learned digital painting because I was told back in the 90s when I went to art college, they told us, what, painting on a computer? No, that's never gonna happen. It'll be used at the most for desktop publishing. I think Adobe Photoshop One was out and, oh, that's your just touching up your photos before you, you know, use your computer to do uh, ad layout for your magazine and, or you're, maybe you're creating a cereal box cover for Kellogg's. Um, little did they know where digital art was going. So, you know, kind of missed the boat on that. So I'm teaching myself and I could never really afford a Wacom tablet. I have like a little bamboo and I tried that with Photoshop. I don't want to get into the subscription for Adobe that they switched to. We have, I think the latest version I have is Photoshop 4. And, um... You know, so when I was finally able to get this iPad, I just, I couldn't wait. And I haven't put it down since. I love painting on here. It's greener. If, if anybody says that 
painting on a iPad isn't real painting, I want to change your mind. So just to give you a little bit of uh, info about Autodesk Sketchbook, um, it has some really nice features, but it also has some that it's missing compared to like Procreate. So let me just show you this little brush. I'll show you my favorite settings here. Go to my paintbrush that I use most of the time. And if you go here, my favorite setting, you have all these brush types that you can switch it to. I love natural blend. If you can see this here, it gives you a bit of a nice kind of soft blended watercolor effect, which I really love. I've always kind of struggled with brush settings in like Procreate and Affinity Photo and trying to get them to just blend together and, you know, feeling like real paint. And, and this, this is the only one that I can just sit down and start working with it and not having to worry about tons of gestures. How do I do this? How do I undo? How do I do this basic thing? And then having to look up, you know, to learn how to do some simple thing that I was able to either do in this or on the computer. And I just got tired of wasting time doing all that. And with a sketchbook, you can just start working and it works intuitively to how somebody who might work with real paper and real paint might think. Now you do have the nice addition of layers and undos and things like that. Um, I wish they would add things like clipping masks. They don't have that. Procreate just got it recently and I do like that. I used it for some of this painting. Um, you can't import brushes or make new ones, but they do have lots of brush choices. I only have a few of them out here. Um, you can go up and see the library of them here, and they have tons to choose from, and they do have a lot of different advanced settings so that you can adjust them to your liking, which really makes it a lot easier and I always end up finding something I can use for the effect I want. Um, I haven't really had to scrub, struggle with that yet. Um, I've had this now for about a year. Let me show you something else. So I was saying what a workhorse this app and the iPad is. Now I'm not sponsored by anybody. I want to get that out here. But um, if I save this and go out, make sure I save. It takes a little while because like I said, about 22 layers and this is a very big file. Um, it's also stopping the recording as you can see up there. So it has to save the new video. Now, the only times this has ever crashed on me is because I ran out of room on my iPad itself. I have lots of reference pictures and then my photo storage gets full because of the videos that I'm recording. Um, there, it did, it did save it. So let me show you the file size, 54 by 72. Now that, the way I figured out, because you can't tell it like what DPI you wanna open in and you just do pixels. Um, so when I made a new document, I first went to the uh, computer and opened Photoshop and made a new document there. And I made it 18 by 24 at 300 DPI. And then I converted it to pixels. And that's what it gave me. So I haven't tested this, but I should be able to print this out at poster level, 18 by 24, poster size. Um, I hope to test that soon. I'm hoping I can send this file to Snapfish or one of those companies that will make prints of your work and see what I get. Um, but I just wanted to say how awesome this is. You know, maybe I'm a little naive, but considering the background and where I came from and that I'm in my mid 40s and they told us this is never gonna happen, I'm pretty impressed. So I just want to say thank you to the people who make this, and it's free for anybody who wants to give it a try. Um, 
you have to think in terms of basic. It's not going to do all the things that Affinity Photo can do or Photoshop, but it does quite a bit. It does a few things that they don't do either, but you also don't have the learning curve. And I have tried them all. I do have them all, just to show you there. But they're Sketchbook, Autodesk Sketchbook. They don't advertise it very much. They do have a computer version, a desktop version, which has a lot more features. And that's free as well. So, you know, if you want to go back and forth, you can do that. And, you know, thanks for listening and stay creative. Bye.